What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is the weekend, so you know what that means. Loads of excitement in store because the markets are going to heat up. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually the complete opposite. Probably a lot of sideways and boring, you know? Probably float around until, you know, we open up around uh, where CME's last closed at. And so that's probably what's going to be in store for us. But of course, anything could go ahead and happen because it's crypto. Anyways, let's just jump right into it. We are stuck in a range between uh, $51,000 and about, we'll say, $46,000. You could probably even, if you want to use Wix, still $46,000. But yeah, so very easy range. If we close above it, boom, off and yonder up to like $56,000, $58,000. Close below it, uh, particularly probably below this low at around like $44,000, honestly, to be on the safe side. I don't want to be too aggressive with this downwards move. And then probably a little bit of a move down to the red 89 to about $42,000. And I'd really like to see what happens with price action. But other than that, it's just going to be sideways and boring. And I could tell everything is boring because either I really suck at making videos and no one's interested anymore. That's also a very true fact. Or everyone's bored out of their mind with Bitcoin literally doing nothing between 46 and 50K. So that, that could also be it. Who knows? Anyways. Let's see. Uh, yep, this is the bull trap zone. If you're wondering what this box is, if we get a daily candle closure or higher above about $51,000, I would be pretty confident in saying that the bear trap scenario probably just is not real. Uh, if we do, if this does turn out to be a bear trap, I'm still looking one or a bull trap, sorry, a bull trap. Um, I'm still looking for one an exuberant top. I do think we kind of like oscillate between these this region for a while. That's kind of why we had the box and then, you know, probably come back down. And then ultimately, this will probably take several weeks, but come back down to around like $32,000. Uh, a few days ago, I did make a video uh, why Bitcoin still has more. And I was talking about why the low is in and also about market structure. So go ahead and check that out. But um, if we do come back down around this boxy region right here, I don't think we go ahead and break it. We may wake below the lows, but I don't think we're going to get any candle closures. I'm pretty, pretty confident in that at this point. Anyways, what else is there? Now, it's pretty much just the same stuff we've been talking about, honestly. It's really nothing new. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah. Posted up some new NFTs. Well, actually, no. These are the same NFTs. Go ahead. Check them out. Link is in the description. Also, if you enjoy the content, give it a like, maybe a share or something, because views are down. But anyways, let's see what else is there. Hmm. Bitcoin on the daily? Nothing. DMI ADX? saying that we're probably gonna consolidate, which I agree with for now. I do think we're probably gonna see things start to heat up come tomorrow morning, or tomorrow morning for me, tomorrow night for you Americans out there. And um, yeah, we'll see it then. Like see, it. weekends are born. So go have fun. What are you doing watching this video? You know what I mean? Anyways, let's go take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum is very simple. We got a simple range right here. How many times can I say simple during this video? I don't know, we should count it, make a drinking game or something. Anyways. Bottom side of the range is around like $3,000. Top side of the range is up at $3,300. So if we get a daily candle closure, probably above this wick high on 23 August, I'd be pretty confident in saying that we probably are likely to head to $3,700. Um, as long as we're pretty much above this low at around $3,000, I'm still under the assumption that we still have a high likelihood of heading up to $3,700. Like there's nothing wrong with consolidating or right at your highs. I think this is actually pretty good and strong, especially um, with the few drives of hidden bullish divergence. Yes, we do have bearish divergence along the highs, but typically you'll see your hidden bullish divergence go ahead and carry the move on through. And that is kind of what I'm expecting right here. Could we get a deeper pullback uh, before we actually head up to $3,700? I think we head up to $3,700 first, but in case I am wrong, you would know that by getting a daily candle closure below about $3,000. I'd probably look for a pullback most likely to the purple 55 and then a decent bounce. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty good right there. Uh, Stokes still knows diving, so we're getting that consolidation phase at best that we discussed. So not too bad. Anything else really on here? No, just sideways and boring. Anyways, let's go take a look at Telcoin because why not? Telcoin, same story, sideways and boring. As long as we're above the 10 exponential, I'm still looking pretty good. Uh, or I'm still looking at this as pretty good. We have not confirmed the low right here, so don't get too aggressive with this. All right. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. But yeah, try not to get too aggressive, yo. Um, 
Unconfirmed low. This could still be kind of inter interpreted as a high, but you know that is a consolidation phase. It's meant to go ahead and like trip you up and chop you up. So yeah, pretty much as long as we're above this low right here, just above like one and a half cents, I could really care less what else Telecoin is doing because it's still bullish to me. Um, let's see, yeah, I'm still under the assumption that we probably wake up to about two and a half cents in the short term and three cents over the long term. Uh, if we do get a daily candle closure below this last low at just above one and a half cents, that's when I'd probably look for a move down to just over one cent and then probably just under one cent around 377 over the course of the long term. Stokes are also turned down, so momentum is down. But I don't expect any earth shattering moves to happen right now or just today in general. We'll see anything else right here. No, long term, this is a macro downtrend as long as we're under three cents. Short term, we are in a little bit of an uptrend. Right over here is this portion of the uptrend that I am referencing. Obviously from our prior high and down, it's a downtrend. Anyways, I think that just about wraps it up. Let's go ahead and head over to Ethereum Classic. Awesome, Ethereum Classic looking like it kind of wants to put in a lower high. Um, again, short term downtrend on this. We have lower lows and lower highs at this point. Uh, unless we took out the, let's see, did we take out this wick low? Let's see, 6270. Yeah, so we did take out this wick low, so this is technically a high right here. I probably target somewhere in the short term. The easy move is probably like to $59. Um, again, no breakage of structure over the weekend is what I'm expecting. And honestly, if this thing wants to have a short term downtrend, I'm all for it. Like, we pretty much went straight up for a solid month. And we are one of the few coins that actually does have a um, uptrend, like literal higher highs and higher lows on the macro sense. And so I'm looking at this as bullish. So even if it does have a little bit of a pullback, even to the red 89, I don't even think of that as a death sentence because pretty much as long as we're above this macro low at around like $39, um, yeah, it's all good, all good. Everything's about perspective. Uh, I do expect this to, over the course of the long term, maybe over several months, get up to about 87 bucks. Um, again, I'm not good with timing factors, so it could be three days or three months. Uh, don't really listen to what I'm saying when I give out time frames. <laughs> but other than that, things are chill. If you guys got any questions, let me know, email me, or uh, leave a comment, preferably a comment. I don't really check the email too much. I'm not that big, you know? I get 20 views still. Anyways, I'm up out of here. See y'all tomorrow.